सो वेलकम ऑल आस्परण इन डी टी एस सो टूडेज टॉपिक थारिस्टर एंड थारिस्टर इज द पार्ट ऑफ थारिस्टर मीन्स वी कैन से एस सी आर इन एस सी आर द मेजर कॉम्पोनंट इज थारिस्टर सो थारिस्टर इज द कॉम्पोनंट और वी कैन पावर कॉम्पोनंट सो थारिस्टर बेसिकली हैव ओन फैमिली सपोज एस सी आर फैमिली एज वी नो एस सी आर सिलीकॉन कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर एंड थारिस्टर इज द मेन कंपोनंट इन एस सी आर फैमिली सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस इंट्रोडक्शन थारिस्टर टर्न ऑन मेथड्स थारिस्टर गेट करैक्टरिस्टिक्स थारिस्टर रेटिंग इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ थारिस्टर करैक्टरिस्टिक्स हीटिंग कूलिंग एंड माउंटिंग ऑफ थारिस्टर सीरीज एंड पैरल ऑपरेशन ऑफ थारिस्टर एंड लो पावर थारिस्टर फायरिंग सर्किट फॉर थारिस्टर एज वी नो थारिस्टर रिक्वायर्ड करंट गेट करंट सो वी कैन ट्रिगर थारिस्टर एट वेरियस मेथड लाइक वोल्टेज कंट्रोल मेथड और करंट कंट्रोल मेथड सो वेरियस मेथड with the help of various method we can trigger our thyristor so again firing circuit for thyristor and uh, getting circuit for single phase converter converter stand for suppose if i need to dc power into ac power then uh, there we will use converter and what is the function for rectifier so rectifier is the basically device or we can say power device we can convert uh, dc power uh, sorry ac power into dc power suppose take any example of mobile charger so in this mobile charger there is any circuit this circuit convert ac power into dc power with the help of rectifier circuit so basically rectifier circuit consist of diodes or we can say group of diodes so with the help of this group of diodes we can change the quantity into alternate to direct current dc current so getting circuit for a single phase converter pulse transformer triggering cosine firing scheme ideal characteristics of power electronics devices that is the characteristics means we can analyze or we can uh, we can study the shape or we can say yes shape and we and uh, particular we can study the behavior of a signal so then after ideal characteristics of power electronic devices thyristor turn off methods so as we see uh, triggering methods for the turn on thyristor then thyristor turn off methods so basically uh, there there is uh, any method for the turn off thyristor so thyristor characteristics uh, switching characteristics of thyristor uh, two transistor model of uh, thyristor thyristor protection so thyristor type track firing circuit track as we know track stand for tri and diac is stand for double so introduction i would like to i would like to express this introduction thyristor is a power semiconductor device the term thyristor includes a large variety of semiconductor devices having a similar basic characteristics like triac diac silicon controlled switch put programmable unjunction or sorry unijunction transistor gto and uh, rct 
Thus, thyristor is a family of a power semiconductor devices. Thyristor is used extensively, extensively for power control in a AC and a DC system. Out of this thyristor family, thyristor also called silicon controlled rectifier (SCR) is the most popular and widely used device in a power electronic circuit. Thyristor, as compared to power transistor, have low on-state conduction losses and higher power handling capability. But transistor are superior to thyristor in application where switching mode operation is required. However, large power handling capability of thyristor will continue to ensure their use in a future as well as as well for high power electronics application a thyristor has a characteristic similar to a uh, thyron thyratron but from the construction view viewpoint a thyristor pn pn devices belongs to transistor pnp or npn device family the name this name uh, this mean that thyristor is a solid state device like a transistor and has a characteristic similar to that of the thyratron tube the present day reader may not be familiar with the titron thyratron tube as this is not begin uh, this date the objective of this chapter is to describe thyristor characteristics useful for their industrial application various thyristor type also are also discuss so guys uh, we already read the introduction for the thyristor and uh, we are going to we are going to discuss about the thyristor characteristics so thyristor has a two stable state one on state and the other off state and can change its state from one to another thyristor is a four layer three junction pn pn semiconductor switching device it has three terminal anode cathode and gate so suppose take any example of diode and simply one terminal is extra that is the gate terminal and uh, another structure is same uh, suppose the di diode have two leg uh, that is anode and cathode but between between uh, there is any gate terminal for the triggering of thyristor so again thyristor is a four layer three junction pnp and semiconductor switching device it has a three terminal anode cathode and gate gives constructional detail of a typical thyristor basically a thyristor consists of four layer of alternate p type and n type silicon silicon semiconductor forming three junction j1 j2 and j3 as uh, shown in figure gate terminal is usually kept near the cathode terminal schematic diagram and the circuit symbol for a thyristor are shown respectively the terminal connected to outer p region is called anode the terminal connected to outer n region is called cathode cathode stand for k and uh, uh, that connected to inner p region is called the gate g for large current application thyristor need better cooling because as we know thyristor is the power electronics device so that's why suppose take any example of any uh, any device like consider a consider inverter then inverter also dissipate heat or take any example of uh, take any example of uh, amplifier amplifier also dissipate heat so that's why we uh, back side of amplifier uh, we saw usually any heat sink so heat sink is the device with the help of heat sink we can we can draw the heat from the our amplifier or any power any power device so 
we will continue that uh, connected to inner p region is called the gate for large current application thyristor need better cooling this is achieved to a great extent by mounting them on to heat sink scr silicon controlled rectifier rating has improved considerably since its introduction to 1957 no scr of voltage rating 10 kilo volt and any rms current rating of 3000 ampere with corresponding power handling capacity of 30 megawatt 30 megawatt are available such a high power thyristor can be switched on by a low voltage supply of about 1 ampere and 10 watt and uh, this gives us any idea of the immune power amplification capability 3 into 10 to the power 6 of this device as a scr or solid state device they are compact possess high reliability and how have low loss because of this useful features features not a future scr is almost universally employed this day for all high power control devices so uh, we have the constructional details so in a pnp transistor there is a three terminal the first one is anode cathode and the third one is gate so take an example of pnp transistor or uh, pnp thyristor so pnp pnp shows the majority of charge carrier is hole so hole stand for hole stand for the positive charges and uh, negative charges means the negative means electrons so in a pnp transistor the majority charge carrier is holes so right mm. constructional detail schematic diagram also circuit symbol of the thyristor as a scr it's a so called because silicon is a used for its construction and its operation as a rectifier very low resistance in the forward conduction and a very high resistance in the reverse direction can be controlled like the diode as a scr is any unidirectional device unidirectional means this device conduct in only one direction not a both direction device that block the current from pro cathode to anode unlike the diode the thyristor also block the current flow the current flow from anode to cathode until it is triggered into conduction by a proper gate signal between gate and cathode terminal so for a engineering application the thyristor their terminal characteristics must be known in this article their statics the their static current voltage characteristic dynamic characteristics during turn on and the turn off process and their their gate characteristics are discussed here static current voltage characteristics of a thyristor so i think so i need ding i need to drink some little bit water again there is any elementary switching characteristic during turn on method like the first method is delay time that is called simply called td 
and again rise time means tr and the third one is um, spread time that is the tp switching characteristics during turn on turn off thyristor turn off means that it has a change from on to off state and is capable of blocking the forward voltage this dynamic process of the scr from conduction state to forward blocking state is called commutation process or turn off process so commutation is basically the process in this process we are going to turn off the our thyristor so switching characteristics during turn off so suppose we have the switching characteristics during the turn off of thyristor so basically when we analyze the any uh, any waveform then the uh, two axis present that is the x axis and y axis and uh, our waveform is draw between these two coordinates and uh, always our uh, waveform start from the zero then uh, there is any up and downs or we can say peak and uh, peak and we can say zero so take an example of uh, this uh, thyristor voltage and current waveform during the turn on and turn off process so this is our first uh, characteristics uh, voltage vg gate pulse anode voltage va and uh, gate current ig ig stand for gate current so 0.9 oa uh, oa equals to va so initial anode voltage 0.9 into ig ig again gate current so g stand for gate so at the end of reverse at the end of at the end of reverse recovery period recovery period t t3 minus t t1 the middle junction j2 still has a trap charges therefore the thyristor is not able to block the forward the forward voltage at a t3 the trap charges around j2 in the inner two layer cannot flow the external circuit therefore this trap charge must decay only be recombination this recombination is possible if a reverse voltage is maintained across scr through the magnitude of this voltage is not important is not important rate of recombination of charges is independent of the external circuit parameters the time for the recombination of charges between t3 and t4 is called gate recovery time or we can say tgr what i am saying tgr that is the gate recovery time at an instant t4 junction j2 recovers and the forward voltage can be replied i think so our device getting low but anyway uh, 0 to 50 volt this is because high reverse voltage shock out of the carriers or uh, yes junction j1 and j3 and the adjacent trans transition region at a faster rate it is evident from above that turn off time tq is not a constant parameters of a thyristor the thyristor turn off time tq is applicable to any individual scr here word come that is the scr so scr stand for silicon controlled rectifier in actually practice thyristor or thyristor from a part of the power circuit the turn off time provided to the thyristor by the practical circuit circuit is called a circuit turn off time tc it is defined as the time between the instant anode current become a zero and the instant reverse voltage due to practical circuit reaches zero must be greater than tq for reliable turn off 
otherwise the device may turn on at any undesired instant a process called commutation failure means there is any no success in a commutation process so this process is called commutation failure thyristor with a slow turn off time 50 to 100 microsecond are called converter grade scr and those with a fast turn off time 3 to 50 microsecond are called inverter grade scr converter grade grade scr are cheaper and are used where slow turn off is possible is in phase controlled rectifier as a voltage controller cyclo controller inverter grade scr are costlier costlier mean costly and are used in inverter and uh, coppers oh what is coppers not coppers that is choppers and force commutated converters actually in this book there is any print mistake uh, author print coppers but not coppers there is any choppers so choppers is the device we can change the magnitude of direct current quantity dc quantity or we can say dc power so there is any mistake by the publisher anyway thyristor gate characteristics the forward gate characteristics of a thyristor are shown in figure in the form of the graph between gate voltage and gate current here a positive gate to cathode voltage z vg vg stand for gate voltage and a positive gate to cathode current ig ig stand for gate current represent dc values as gate cathode current of a thyristor is a pn pn junction gate characteristics of the device are similar to that of a diode for a particular type of scr vg minus ig means vg vi stand for the power because power is nothing but the product of voltage and current so that's why vg minus ig characteristics has a spread between two curves 1 and 2 uh, as shown in figure the spread or scatter of gate characteristic is due to in adherent difference in the dropping level of p and n layer the gate trigger circuitry must be suite suitably designed to take care of this un unavoidable scatter of characteristics i represent the lowest voltage value that must be applied to turn on the scr so the highest possible voltage value that can be safely applied to get circuit so actually thyristor is a much important device in the power system means uh, actually where there is a any deal in high power then we use uh, preferably uh, prefer preferably we use thyristor but uh, in a there is a no medium size voltage then we use transistor like uh, take an example of mobile charger mobile charger have transistor because this is not dealing in too much power so that's why so again we have some characteristics of thyristor forward gate characteristics of thyristor and the characteristic plot between the voltage axis and the current axis zero minimum gate voltage and current to trigger in scr maximum permissible gate voltage and current non non triggering gate voltage oa so es equals to vg plus ig rs es equals to gate source voltage vg equals to gate cathode voltage ig equals to gate current rs equals to gate source resistance gs resistance so trigger circuit connected to gate cathode circuit of any scr 
again i would like to again i would like to uh, express importance of scr scr is the too much important device in the power circuit in a power power system so in uh, the in the the internal resistance rs of the trigger source should be such a that current es divided by rs means divided i mean to say is not harmful to the source as well as to the gate circuit when scr is trigger on in case rs is a low any any ex, any external resistance in a series with the rs must be connected a resistance r1 is also connected across gate cathode terminals so as to provide any easy path to the flow of leakage current between scr terminal if a i g m n and v g m n m n stand for yes e stand for energy so energy equals to i g m plus v g m upon r1 r s plus v g m n for a low pass circuit it is customary it is customary to obtain the operating power operating point by utilizing the vi characteristics of both source and the device um, in a view of this uh, for the selecting the operating point for the circuit of figure uh, a load uh, line of the gate source voltage es equals to oa is drawn as ad in figure here od trigger circuit short circuit current es by rs let us consider a thyristor whose vg minus ig characteristics is given by cor 3 intersection of load line ad and vg minus ig cor 3 gives the operating point yes thus for this scr gate voltage ps and gate current op in order to minimize turn on time and the jitter on reliable turn on the load the load line and hence the operating point yes which may change from s1 to s2 must be close to the p g a v curve as possible at the some time the operating point just yes, must lies within the limit curve 1 and 2 the gradient of the gradient of the load line ad equals to oa upon od will give the required gate source resistance rs the minimum the minimum value of gate source series resistance is obtained by drawing a line ac tangent so tangent is the any cross line between this two axes suppose taken an example of x axis and uh, another is y axis and uh, one line crossing between these two axes then this line is called the this called the tangent so gate drive requirement in terms of continuous dc signal can be obtained from figure however it is common to use a pulse to trigger a thyristor for a pulse width beyond 100 microsecond the dc data applies for a pulse width less than 100 microsecond magnitude of gate voltage and the gate current can be increased seen example choice of a gate circuit parameters so again gate current pulse gating high frequency carrier gating gating of scr thyristor protection against reverse over voltage we already seen thyristor can be handle much and much higher voltage or we can say power not a voltage 
so what is the range of thyristor family power handling capacity so it is a between it is a between i need to i need to it can handle it can handle 30 megawatt 30 megawatt or 3000 ampere okay 10 kilo volt and any rms current rating of 3000 ampere with a corresponding power handling capacity of 30 megawatt are available such a high power thyristor can be switched on by low voltage supply of about 1 ampere and 10 watt and this gives us any idea of the immune immune power amplification capability 3 into 10 to power 6 of this device as SCR our solid state device so that's why the importance of the thyristor in this uh, power system is too and too much switching characteristic during turn on turn off turn off Thyristor gate characteristics already we have discussed for low power circuit it is a customary to obtain the operating point by utilizing the VI characteristics VI characteristics stand for the voltage and current characteristics pulse gating high frequency carrier gating one bad habit is for me it's I like to write on the book so I think so this is bad habit for me but uh, but 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 sometime this habit this habit uh, is uh, this habit we can say this habit can be beneficial for us because the bonding between me and my book is going increase so it may be works like that but every time i i underline the words or numbers in a frequent way so anyway uh, one advantage is here that is the bonding between me and book is going increasing so it may be any advantage for us I don't know this habit good or bad but anyway habit is habit and uh, we should take any advantage for this habit A repeat example in case the current has a rectangular wave shape for the rectangular wave shape of current shown in figure conduction angle T by NT into 360 so again 360 is the angle of any any circular thing or we can say uh, we can say yes circular or round shape circular is nothing but the round shape so T equals to 10 millisecond for half cycle I I square T rating di by dt rating di by dt stand for i think so derivative derivative di by dt means i i stand for the current and dt stand for the time and we can we can we can cut the current in the time in the time factor so other rating in addition to the voltage actually power power uh, power electronics is my favorite subject actually real i love power electronics also i love electric machine
बट पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मच एंड मच इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट यू कैन फील और वी यू कैन रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन द अवर होल सोसाइटी और वी कैन से नॉट सोसाइटी जस्ट सिस्टम Again, there is an expression for the single phase semiconductor. Expression uh, for this converter, the variation of input current I S in figure is shown continuous from alpha to pi, pi plus alpha to two pi, and so on. But I S is not a constant as before. I S is now assumed ripple free, also with its amplitude I zero. I zero equals to one upon two pi integration alpha two pi I zero d d uh, w two minus integration pi plus uh, alpha two pi I zero equals to d omega t bracket complete equals to zero. Uh, next step a n a raised to a n a to the base a to the base n equals to one by pi integration of alpha to the pi into i0 i0 cos n omega t d omega t bracket complete minus integration pi plus alpha raised to 2 pi i0 cos n omega t into d again in a bracket omega t bracket complete whole bracket complete equals to I zero upon n pi in a bracket mod of sine n omega t mod of alpha to the pi minus mod of sine n omega t pi plus alpha raised to two pi bracket complete equals to minus two I zero upon n pi sine n alpha for n equals to one three five that is the odd number equals to zero for n equals to two comma four comma six one by pi one by pi under bracket integration of alpha to pi i zero sine n omega t d omega t bracket complete minus integration pi plus alpha pi plus alpha raised to 2 pi i0 sin n omega t d omega dt sorry not a dt it's just a omega t bracket complete equals to 2 i0 n n pi 1 plus cos n alpha bracket complete for n equals to again same 1 comma 3 comma pi not a pi pi Five not a pi equals to zero for n equals to two comma four comma six. So ultimately the answer, ultimately the answer, ultimately the answer q i equals to v output upon i output upon one plus cos alpha into sin alpha equals to v al v output into i output into tan alpha by two equals to active power into tan alpha by two. That is the ultimate answer for this expression. Expression. So again, there is any problem, and you can. you can write more and more time so that we can clear our concept single phase semicon symmetrical symmetrical or symmetrical as we know single phase symmetrical and asymmetrical semiconductors single phase semiconductors so there is any single phase symmetrical semiconductor circuit diagram as well as the waveform single phase asymmetrical semiconductor uh, 
and uh, really i i like to draw away from lot and lot time for the tarister family because already i have done this away from at the time of my polytechnic level as well as the degree level so really i like to draw the waveform lot and lot time single phase asymmetrical semi converter circuit diagram and the waveforms again star delta delta and star the advantage of delta and star as we know in a delta there is a no role of neutral and in a star there is a neutral point from the common of three terminal three terminals means you can consider x y z or you can say u v w and between this uh, common terminal we achieve our neutral point n so three phase half wave thyristor converter feeding r load r r means resistive there is a two types of load inductive load and the resistive load so here we are see the resistive load 1 2 3 three phase three pulse converter with r load line to neutral source voltage load voltage wave from for the firing angle 30 30 degree firing angle three phase m m3 converter with rl load rl means stand for the resistive and inductive suppose taken an example of uh, in incandescent light so actually this incandescent light is the example of resistive load because there is a no any coil in incandescent bulb so that's why this is an example of the resistive load effect of source impedance on the performance of converters so effect of source impedance impedance is stand for the z so what is the z z is the combination of resistance and the inductance or we can say rl rl is nothing but the impedance z so for a single phase and a three phase full converter derivation of the average output voltage as given by equation has been obtained on the assumption that current transformer from the outgoing scr to the incoming scr in instantaneously this mean that when a incoming scr t1 and t2 are fired in a single phase full converter outgoing scr T three and uh, T four get turned off due to the application of reverse voltage, and the current shift to SCR T one and uh, T two instantaneously. Instantaneously, actually, I not clear pronounce this word, but the proper pronunciation is instantaneously. This is probably the oh, sorry. This is possible only if the voltage source has uh, no. internal impedance no internal impedance actually the source does possess internal impedance if the source impedance is resistive then there will be the voltage drop across the resistance and the average voltage output of the converter get reduced by any amount equal to i0 rs for a single phase converter by Two I zero R S for the three phase converter. How not how here I zero is the constant DC 
load current and rs is the source resistance per phase per phase okay since source resistance is usually low it is assumed that duration of the commutation 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 actually this is not commutation this is commutation okay so anyway no any large difference between commutation and the commutation but uh, commutation is very small and the current transfer takes place immediately after the incoming scr are fired however a voltage drop caused by source resistance must be taken into consideration as discussed above in the following lines the source impedance is taken as a purely inductive so uh, suppose uh, take any practical example of the inductive load or we can say inductive load yes inductive load so induction machine is the inductive load major major industrial application is induction motor suppose uh, take any example of uh, rail so rail also have its own uh, motor for the uh, for the transportation of goods or public so this is an example of induction load not load example application so in the following lines the source impedance is a taken a purely inductive the load inductance is assumed large so that output current is virtually constant virtually constant single phase full converter so what is the difference between half converter and full converter load load v1 ls di1 upon dt v2 minus ls di2 upon dt dc equivalent circuit of single phase full converter three phase full converter bridge converter here we are going to discuss about the phase control rectifier rectifier role is too much clear conversion of ac into dc that is the role of rectifier and uh, what about the converters so converter is the conversion of dc power into ac power that is the converter chopper what is mean by chopper chopper is the device which can chop we can we can gauge or we can take a idea from this word chopper chopping chopping means slicing of slicing of dc quantity that is the chopper slice take an example of mango if we have mango then uh, we need to share this mango in our family then uh, usually what 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 we can do we can slice we can cut this mango in a uh, pieces and distribute and distribute in our family so this is an example of chopping chopper three phase full converter bridge three phase full converter bridge t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 there is any a uh, six time thyristor and a load as well as load three phase full converter bridge dual converters ideal dual converters three phase dual converter operating in the circulating current mode has the following data 
कंट्रोल ऑफ सिंगल फेस सीरीज